Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today's May 1st, and that means day 121 of the 3DP 365 project. And on today's episode, we printed out Terrence the Businessman, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here for day 121 of the 3DP 365 project. If you're unfamiliar with the project, check out the description below. I put a facts section down at the bottom that'll give you all the details. And don't forget to check out that Matter Hackers affiliate link. If you're in the market for a new printer, printer parts, or if you just need some filament, use that Matter Hackers affiliate link down in the description. It kicks a little bit back to the channel, it doesn't cost you a penny, and we really appreciate it. But for today's episode, we printed out Terrence the Businessman. And before we talk about the print, let's head over to Thingiverse and I'll show you where to download this model. Then we'll tab over to Simplify 3D and I'll show you my settings for the print. Then we'll meet back here at the workbench and we'll talk about the print. Okay, folks, so here we are at Thingiverse. Here is Terrence the Businessman by MakerBot. And I'll put the link down in the description so you can download and print this one yourself. And of course, this is part of that Around Town collection. A collection of really cool figures that MakerBot published up here on Thingiverse that are really great prints and they really do have a lot of detail and they're actually really good test prints. So let's tab over to Simplify 3D and I'll show you my settings for the print. Okay, so here we are in Simplify 3D and I've dropped the model down on the print bed at 100%. And as you can see, there is a lot of detail on these models. We even have little fingernails, there's little dollar signs, there's little like rivets in his little wallet or whatever that is there. Even the button stretching his little suit, there's detail there. So these are really great test prints. They only take between three and five hours, depending on your printer speed and capabilities. And they really do test out the printer. There's overhangs, there's all kinds of detail. These are great test models. So let me show you my process settings. Under layer height, we did a 0.16 millimeter layer height with three top layers and three bottom layers and three perimeters. We also ran a brim by entering zero in the skirt offset at four outlines. For infill, we only used 15% for this little model. We did not generate any support material. For temperature, this is Matter Hackers Pro PLA, so I use a single temperature throughout, and that's 207. And I have my three stage cooling system set up. Under speed, we ran this out at 35 millimeters per second just to make sure we captured all that fine detail. So let's hit OK and let's hit Prepare to Print, and I'll show you how it's sliced. And this is a real time slice of Terrence the Businessman from MakerBot. And if I play this through, you can see some of the areas of interest, like this area here. There's a little overhang there. There was a little bridging aspect with the MakerBot logo. We have some uh, areas of interest here as we speed this up a little bit when he starts to print out some of the other parts, like where his hand is and the detail that this picks up. This is a really great model and I love printing these and ours turned out spectacular and I'm super, super happy with the results. So let's head over back to the workbench and let's talk about the print. Okay, so you saw my settings in Simplify 3D and here is Terrence the Businessman. And I'll put some close-ups in at the end like I always do. But this print turned out 110% perfect. I really love these MakerBot figures because they have such a great amount of detail in them and they're really good test models for the printer. Now I know everybody loves to print the Benchy because it has all those overhangs and neat little details. But these little figures have a lot of that detail too. There's a lot of detail on this that my G-Max did a stellar job of picking up. Everything from the little buttons on his little sport coat to the little stretching of the button on his sport coat because his big old belly is too big for his coat. The dollar sign on the little stack of money, or I think it's a wallet actually. You can even see his little tiny fingernails. They actually printed out really, really nice. So these are super great test models. So don't knock these MakerBot figures, even though I do print these a lot. These are really good test models to print every once in a while just to make sure your printer is completely dialed in. And my printer is completely dialed in. This print looks awesome. There are no problems with this print whatsoever. There are no layer skips, no layer shifts. There's no blobs, no globs. You can't even find the seam on this. This did such a great job. And I really love the way this MakerBot figure looks in this Matter Hackers Pro PLA in the color of tan. I use this filament quite a lot for figures like this because they really show off the detail really well. And of course, my G-Max did such a great job on this detail. I am really happy with the results. Well, that about wraps it up for day 121 of the 3DP 365 project. 
I hope you guys found this episode interesting and informative. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll see you tomorrow.